All right, today we're gonna sanitize a water well and I'm gonna show you how to do it and the importance of it and something that's kind of crazy. Well, we come out here to the well and we found our source of contamination. It was fire ants. They have consumed the well. They built all up underneath the mock rock all the way to the tip top. Absolutely mind boggling. So what we gotta do here is clean all this stuff up and not let the ants get into us and then we're gonna treat the well with chlorine. All right, so I have removed all of the fire ant mound and they are pissed. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the customer's uh, well cover, take it over to their house and rinse that out to get all that dirt out of there. And um, this well did not have a vent which would have kind of helped prevent a little bit of this problem, but it still was another issue over there where the wire was. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take this. This is super pool shock chlorine, same stuff you put in a chlorinated pool. This is a 400 foot well, so we're gonna go ahead and put a full bag of chlorine in it, just due to the fact that they have a terrible smell in the water and it's all now that I've removed the well I can see what the source of contamination was but this will also help with like total coliform and E. coli this is probably something you need to do to your well at least once a year now the rule of thumb for powdered chlorine is um, three to four ounces per 100 foot of well so this is a 400 foot well times four ounces 16 ounce this is a 16 ounce bag now if you don't know the depth of the well that you're working with you can just put a half a bag in it and then let it sit let it sit for 8 to 12 hours you can use the water you know normally but don't go hurry up and try to flush it off you want it to sit in the borehole and do its job and clean any of the bacteria I have another video on my channel um, similar to this one of like a loop chlorination where you can run a garden hose from the house and stick it in this hole here and circulate water and allow it to circulate for 24 hours that actually cleans out all the plumbing inside to the house inside the bladder tank the filter all the way back and it circulates the chlorinated water back into the borehole okay I have cleaned the well thoroughly clean took a wire brush to the inside put a well vent in there and uh, it looks good now got all the fire ants cleaned up and uh, took the mock rock and kind of rinsed that out the ants had gotten crazy and they had chewed holes inside the foam so I tried taking a, a hose and spraying out the uh, the little holes and it was just dirt coming out of it so they were living inside of that too kind of crazy but yeah so all I got to do now is I'm gonna let it dry leave it open and then um, I'm gonna come back here wipe this off with a paper towel and we're gonna take some uh, some silicone caulk we're gonna silicone caulk these wires in here that'll help seal it up permanently looks good I'm trying to get it off <laughs> perfect sealed up nicely So this right here was the water filter that we took out of the medium sized filter cartridge. You can tell the amount of bacteria that is on this. That's due to not sanitizing the well. So if you're a homeowner and you have a water well, be sure to sanitize your water well. Well, that was the basics of sanitizing a well. So if you have a issue with like red water, muddy water, um, rotten egg smell in your hot water or your cold water or you notice bacteria growing on your water filter like we did here at this job you probably need to go ahead and sanitize your well if you're a homeowner you've never had a well before that is probably something you need to do annually so i wanted to keep this video short and sweet for anybody who needed to know how to do it that's how you do it thank you all for watching if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button i will see y'all on the next one